be affected as far as pollution, noise, um, our, our, um, our, the wildlife in the community. You know, Ascot Hills, cutting 45 feet of Ascot Hills, that's going to affect wildlife. So I think that before this is done, there does need to be an environmental impact report conducted, which has been taken place. Call for the vote. Don't call for the vote. We have office can address this particular item and shed some light to us in regards to a clarification if it's even possible at this point. No, 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 no. The motion of the paper is to ascertain. That what's on the left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, we don't discuss it. There's no yes or no. You're discussing whether or not you want to ascertain that there, there was a left. Otherwise, you're taking the motion. The only thing okay. okay. Just out of respect, because they really, the public really doesn't know the process, you allow them to speak. I mean, that's what I do. But when it comes to the process here, <laughs> they're only allowed to talk about the motion. I'm assuming the public wants to know and the information in regards to a particular issue. Do you mind? Yeah, I can share what I know. I don't know everything, but if there's any questions, I'll be probably happy to come back to the call and see that. I do know that because for our office request and Ali Duke's request, there was a number of community meetings that were held in partnership with Ali Duke where DOE came out and explained what project contains. Um, so I know there was uh, a few opportunities for the public to voice their opinion on this um, issue. Um, this is a project that has been in the works past 04. Um, there was a uh, study done and it was found that there's no uh, need for EIR. Um, that being said, the city does have a policy that, um, and this was released back in April 16, 2000, um, 2004. The public had uh, 30 days to review the documents, and then it was um, approved in council later that year. And um, in about this, it was introduced, it was reviewed by Public Works in June, and then finally it was approved in December of 04. Um, so there was some opportunity back in 04 to voice your concerns about the study. Um, we have our concerns that uh, this could align to align with like 710, the trucks are going to be coming in, um, what forward. Um, the city doesn't have the ability to study this, so it's not going to be happening. Um, the, the city has the opportunity to study, but currently is on that path. Um, to answer your question about whether there's plans about extending the photo bridge, um, I'm not aware of them. Um, I do review the uh, you know, projects that come before us. I'm not going to say yes or no, but I'm just saying at this time I'm not aware of any projects that will expand photo uh, street, street from Boro Heights to the Um So that's what I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. Yeah, we'll bring it back uh, to the discussion. So I'm going to um, ask for his business a motion. There is a motion on the table. Yeah, so, and it was already second, so we're going to do a vote. Yeah, no, 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 no,
we had a number of meetings and there was a number of talks with the project. Uh, we made some recommendations. We wanted to make some recommendations. We actually did at every meeting. Uh, we wanted to bring it to the board, but because of some political move on some people, uh, it didn't. It didn't get. It didn't go there. So the board did not ever hear uh, the motion. Uh, but we did have some recommendations. There were some issues that land use found, uh, but it it wasn't enough to stop the project if anybody's concerned. The project is. It's on its way, uh, and you know, there's, I don't think any, anything we could do to stop it. So to bring it back to land use is not, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, but I think if there's some concerns on the project itself, and as uh, Dr. Williams had brought, brought in for the last three, four months, that the, you know, they, they're not including the community on, on the, the logistics, uh, and so, you know, that, that is a concern. But Alley 32 never never took a, a vote on it. You know. Any further discussion on this item? The problem with this with this project is that the NC never had a voice in it. And even though 2004, they never had a meeting with the NC in 04 or 03 or 02 to ask the NC if they supported this. They never, they never there are three meetings, scoping meetings they called, you know, to get community input, three of them. Two, two of them were incidental, one was in Lincoln Heights. And was the fourth one that they don't know where it took place, so they didn't count. So they voted on this on 04, and now they're having meetings. Seven years later, in 2011, they're having meetings to see what we want to say, but they already voted for it. So what we say doesn't matter anymore because they already said, go ahead. So the meetings that we, we're having, we had like last few years, they didn't, they didn't even write down our concerns. So when you ask them what, what our concerns were for the last two years, that, that the input that we put in, they don't have anything. They don't have no record of it. So really, it's 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 kind of a shame that what they're doing to the community. What they're going to do because there is plans for Soto Street widening. There is plans for the Soto Street Bridge over Soto, uh, Amor Valley to be expanded. And of course, USC has its plans, 50-year plan for expanding their little the area. You know what I mean? So it's, it's going to impact everything between Alhambra all the way to USC because that's the corridor they're going to use to get people come from the east to USC. So it's obvious that, that they're planning ahead already. And that the Soto Street Bridge wasn't presented as a whole. It was just one thing. Yeah, we're still right. to the ascertaining the letter to support it. You're saying that there was, there was no, ever, no, in, no opportunity to do that at the entry level, ever. Any further comments on this item? No. Mr. Johnson? Um, all in favor of the motion, please think, signify by raising your hand. Okay. Opposed? Abstention? 201? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. 202. Or death. 202. Okay. There's no action on that though. Okay, um, this particular item, mostly we've already voted on this. So it's going to go to the executive committee right now. Okay, what do we got? Wait, 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 uh, question. You said it's going to go to the executive committee? Any of our recommendations, because it passed, goes to any. There's no action on this motion. To ascertain. Ascertain the action. Find out. Find out who's in there. I mean, there's more than that, but I won't bring it up right now. Okay. That would give us item. Do we have anything on the. Um, 7 and 11, so we're moving to item 6, 7, A7. I was not able to contact um, the owner of 711 to get an update, so I'm working on it. So I'm going to ask to table this until our, ne postpone it until our next meeting in October. Madam Chair, we've been trying to get this in for the last four or five months. This is the first time that I'm actually working on it, trying to get one. Okay. So I. Eight, a small comment. It will probably be finished in about two, maybe maximum three months. That's right. 
Okay, okay. they're ready to pay this. Right. Madam Chair, the previous motion, as I stated earlier, regarding agenda item is now 735. Seven, so 730 before the end of the agenda. Um, what I'm going to might like to do is go ahead back to item number 5A. October 
meeting of the LUD committee be allocated 45 minutes of time to review and produce any recommendations or resolutions regarding the meeting that on the issues that were discussed at the May 20th, 2013 meeting. That's motion number one. Quick, that's stop. That's on stop. Yeah. Now you get the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second. The second. The second. The second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Public comment. Public comment. And we do have one, Mr. Jorge Bravo. Mi nombre es Jorge Bravo, yo soy dueño de Hecho México y ahorita, sinceramente, tengo una orden de compliance que no se ha terminado. O sea, más bien nunca la han reemporzado. La orden de compliance creo que se las entregué a ustedes, aparte de que les entregué la documentación que me dio a Building and Safety diciendo que ninguna de las dos propiedades al lado de Hecho en México tienen ningún permiso especial ni ninguna otra forma para utilizar su parking lot como playground. En el día de hoy regresaron a clases, tengo video, foto, uh, donde puedo documentar de que se volvió a, a efectuar la, la violación y donde no sé a quién se le tenga que poner una orden de compliance, o sea, cuando están haciendo una orden de compliance se supone que la tienen, tienen que estar sobre de ella. No sé qué está pasando aquí, si haya algo político, de verdad no, no entiendo, pero uh, en realidad no sé cuál es el proceso de que Building and Safety, o sea, pues haga la ley, básicamente. Muchas gracias. Um, Right, uh, for my, yeah. yeah for the okay, so for the, so the summary is he received in order to comply in regards to response from building and safety in response to the school's ability to use, uh, able to use the parking lot as a playground. He did receive the order, which I, I believe I gave you a copy of it. Can I get it? No, not the order. Okay, I'll get you a copy of the ordinance, the order for order to comply. What he's asking for is how long is it going to take the city to actually put that in uh, a motion to get the uh, school to comply with that order. To enforce it. And that's it. To enforce it. Enforce it. That, that's it. That you just, Thank all you. it do is just comment and that's it. Okay. It's not even germane to the motion. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's okay. motion number one? Okay, but well, no, you get, you get to discuss. No more, no more comments for the public? Is there anyone else in the public that would like to make a comment on this particular issue? All right. Yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Who sent out the letter? Uh, Did we get any response from the letters? The board? No, just no, open no letter discussion. Fair enough. We, we have not sent any letters. That's what I mean. We, we, yeah, so the motion right now is to. Do 45 minutes of discussion at the October meeting to resolve this issue. And then that way we can review more information like this. Okay, but if it's a legal matter, what do we gotta do with it? If it's already a legal matter, how do we what 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 is is that, yeah, how do we gonna do it? asking for it is to assist them trying to get the city to comply with these orders because even though it was submitted, it was done in June, the school is we also mentioned this yes video because the school's functioning again. I think I think it's a problem. It, the issue itself is between two parties, more so than the public. I mean, this is something. This is, I mean, this is something that you, I mean, you put in a ring and, and uh, resolve it then. And that's what's happening now. It's a legal issue, and I think we need, we need to let that resolve. Uh, I don't know what else we could do. Okay. Originally, to, this is what created that committee, to ask for assistance to try to get the city to move it along because it's taken us so long. I think it was in 2011 that the council still didn't respond to their letter. So. I, I totally understand that, but again, there's some there's some issues with the name of the council because a member of the board is part of this part of this issue, and so 
you know, it, you know, the perception that whatever action we take could be construed as certainly, you know, certain party. And so I, I have a hard time with it. So okay. you know, I'm just you giving my opinion. All those items at the board. So, um, yeah, to speak to the motion, it's kind of so the, the motion is that at the October meeting, board comments the time be allocated for a final review on the matter and and res and um, pending for final re final review and resolution. Mm -hmm. Already had a second, right? Right. Yeah, all in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your hand. Opposed? Abstention? 202. Motion passes. Um, at this point, I will make a side note, <laughs> but I'm not going to push for a motion at this time. There was a and I just send this out to committee members is that there was a flyer put out in my neighborhood regarding issues pertaining to myself. It's a very repugnant flyer. But for the sake of time right now, what I'm going to do is I will put out that issue to that meeting on the for the sake of time terms that we've allocated time and um, that way we can get in issues, the last issue here pertaining to Project Park USC and, um, and resolving the land use subcommittee. Two motions that were brought forth yeah. by the by stakeholders regarding item six. Did I submit an article? Did I submit an article to on the issue? Um, I would say public comment card, and you can submit it for the record during that time period. All right. So you need to submit a public comment card on the agenda item. And these items will be submitted for review. Same thing. If I may, on the agenda item, Madam Chair, give a brief update um, on the issue pertaining to Hazard Park USC. Unless there's any. 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. I will actually give five right now, and then we we'll go forward with that. As of right now, Councilman Weezar is kindly withdrawing a motion. That would have created a street light district, special street light district through the park, pending further community input and dialogue between the respective parties, community members, the university, council office. Um, my concern as a community member is that in the area affected, there was already preliminary work being done. I've taken pictures and documented that where a trench was going to be dug through an active handball court area that my thoughts right now needs to be repaired before any patrons are entered. As this, and Roddy stated earlier this evening, there is a, a, a program going on this Saturday and part of that is a handball tournament. The concrete cutting that was done could lead to a, to a patron injury, which would be holding the city liable. So my thoughts right now is that the city needs to go back, look at that situation, and make repairs <coughs> so that there's basically nobody who would get hurt in the course of any activity in a still active play area that has not been close stop by the city of LA. Okay. So that's where we're at on that issue right now. Um, I understand that there is a community meeting that takes place a week from Monday, September 23rd at the Ramona Gardens Community Center that is part of the Ramona Gardens of Resident Advisory Council monthly meeting that will take place at 5 p.m. And, um, and that's my report for now. I want to give Councilman Weezard credit for taking back that motion and encouraging all the people involved to continue with the dialogue process regarding the, the issues concerning the park. That's my report. Thank you. 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 Thank you
There's two motions right now. Just right? that motion. And don't stop that. No, no. Okay. Do we have any other public comments on this item for Hazard Park? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think it's more concise. You know, it's not. Yeah. Six, eight, 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 eight,